this is uh, how my bench is laid out. Um, there's no incline on it or decline on the back of the bench. And I also have that uh, Mexican um, blanket for protection of my head, just kind of a cushion for my head. So I transferred onto the bench and and I have my head uh, resting against the back of the back bar, um, the same bar that uh, my weights are connected to. So it's kind of dangerous. Uh, the weights can fall down on top of my head if I accidentally, uh, if the barbell accident, if the straight bar accidentally slips out of my hands or something like that. Um, I was thinking about doing a variety of this and maybe uh, getting a uh, using a different bar and making it a wide grip. Um, I might be, you know, I, I could try it pulling it with my elbows more flared out to the side, so like more parallel with my shoulder blades or with my shoulders. Um, or I could try it with having my elbows uh, parallel with my torso, with the torso of my body. So, um, but I was doing uh, six sets of 20 or over 20 repetitions uh, with this. And the weights weren't too bad. I, I could increase the weight maybe 10 or 20 pounds probably and and still done that been able to do the six sets of 20 repetitions or more um, this is kind of an interesting angle uh, I have the camera on my chest while I'm doing the pull downs and uh, this I think this is pretty much working on your chest or not your chest but it's work pretty much working on your biceps and your triceps. If I if I really wanted to know what kind of workout, what muscle it was really working out, then I should have increased the weight a little bit more so that it was pretty difficult to do. But one thing that's really important is that you do have that blanket behind your head. Uh, or that I have that like behind my head because otherwise my head I'm driving my head into a bunch of bolts and um, it's not too comfortable.